right guys what is up welcome back to the channel as you can see we're finally progressing on the boat a little bit we just took it up to the car wash got it vacuumed out got it cleaned out now it's not all the way to bare metal in most areas like I wanted it to but it was getting to where it was just taking way too long I don't have the amount of time I'd want to to get this thing pretty much down to you know a polished state but everywhere that's gonna be covered up is the only areas that'll still have a little bit of paint, a little bit of stuff here and there. Everything else that was taken off. Whenever we finish the boat out, you won't, you know, you won't be able to see any of the old residue or anything like that. We have pretty well decided on how we're going to lay out the boat as far as paint and the materials we're going to use. As long as we get them at the right price, that's what we're going to go with. We're going to do like a like a rhino liner material on uh, a lot of the inside and uh, outer caps here we're going to just be doing straight black on the bottom and then i haven't decided what we're doing with that middle section yet i kind of still would like to polish it out to bare aluminum but at the same time we might just end up painting it to save ourselves a little bit of time now though comes the hard part getting this boat off the trailer going to be taking the trailer out to my uncle clyde's to have a lot of the welds uh shirt up and you know make sure everything's good to go on that we've got a few pieces to take off the trailer before it goes to him then we've got a few new pieces that are go that are going to go on the trailer once we get it back but like i said let's 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 get into the the grunt work of the day here and let's get this boat off this trailer Alright guys, so we got the boat off the trailer. Pretty stoked about that. It's been a long time coming. Wasn't as hard as we thought it was going to be because in all actuality that boat is probably only what, 2 250 All stripped down, something like that. So, able to get that off relatively easy. Now, looking at this trailer, once again guys, it, it's going to be a complete redo. I don't know who was 
smoking what whenever they configured this trailer but it's completely wrong that boat was literally setting in this little duct edge of this steel and you can see back on the keel of the boat it was actually causing the keel to rust it's not supposed to sit on there like that same with that that roller back there makes no sense being off the back end like that because once again your boat should never touch this section of the trailer once your bunk boards are in the in place where they need to be and your trailers actually dip down on a ramp this shouldn't come into play but my plan is to at least move this to the top side we're going to get these bunk boards up where they need to be like i said we're taking the trailer out to my uncle clyde's he's going to shore up all the welds may even have him put an extra support up here just so we can run a pair of guide bunks right here but if not it'll be a couple of keel rollers we've got a brand new winch post for the trailer already so we're going to be taking this piece of crap off put a new winch on the new winch post put the new winch post on there we'll be getting a new jack we've already got a new coupler uh, i'll be putting that on before we take it out to clyde's or after but all in all guys once again it's going to be a complete redo of the trailer but when we get everything redone and repainted it's going to look like a new trailer so that's what we're going to roll with for now Alright guys, so that concludes kind of what I'm going to do before we send this trailer off to my Uncle Clyde's. Like I said, we're going to get the, all the welds reinforced and may even have him put in a couple extra supports. I just did kind of like a preliminary grinding on some areas just so he didn't have so much to do once I get it out to him. We were able to cut those uh bunk board brackets free which is a good thing because those are going to be very essential to the overall design of this trailer and i wanted to be able to reuse those so that's good i've got a couple other things that i want to show you all here in the garage i need to get washed up real quick and then we'll close out this video all right like i said brand new winch post for the trailer got it in a couple weeks ago I've got the rubber piece and everything for it. I'll paint that to match the trailer when it actually goes on. So another thing that came in that I'm pretty excited about was our fish finder unit. I went with the Lowrance Elite 7Ti. My buddy Corey has a Lowrance unit on his boat. I was just blown away by a bunch of the features that it has, but this, this one does it all. It's down imaging, side scan, uh, GPS it's touchscreen and it's got a scroll back feature which I really like 
like I said, it, it just blew me away the features that this thing had. So I was excited to go ahead and swoop this up for a decent price. I wanted to like kind of collectively put everything together that I bought for the boat and do like a big unboxing video, but everything that I'm going to get is going to be so scattered out and it's going to have to go on the boat at different times to where it would kind of hold up progress to actually stockpile everything. So I'm just going to kind of show y'all stuff as I get it in. Those being two, two of the main things that I've gotten in here recently. I've also got a new coupler for the trailer. We got our LED nav lights in. That's just the red and the green LEDs that's gonna go on the bow of the boat. I don't see the point in showing y'all those. They're just little LED light strips. Uh, and like I said, we've gotten a few things as far as like materials that we need. Like we've got a couple of pieces of aluminum to work with. I've got the new transom board here ready to cut out. I've also got uh, brazing rods and uh, the high heat torch to start fixing holes in the boat so that's pretty much going to be where you know the next video is going to pick up at we've got that boat tur turned over finally we're going to start taking the rest of the finish off that and filling in all the holes that we find we've got two on the bottom that need to be addressed for sure uh, plenty in the transom that are going to have to be done and then there are a few uh, around the boat mainly from like old bracketing from where the actual uh, console and everything used to run and things like that so like I said we're just we're gonna go through we're gonna fill in holes we're gonna get it prepped and ready for paint and I'm hoping by the time we get done with the trailer it's gonna be warm enough to start painting outside because that that's gonna be like the next biggest step on both of these you know the boat and the trailer is paint uh, the trailer's not too far from being done once the welds get reinforced we'll get new bunk boards on it uh, get a keel roller for sure that I know of and like I said you know we'll get the winch post new winch all that good stuff I've got lights coming I'm wanting to say they're gonna be here next week for the trailer but once again I'm not gonna even mess with those till I get it back the only thing left other than the bunk boards and the carpeting and you know things like that will be a new jack for that trailer so once again guys it's a complete overhaul of the trailer right along with the boat. I mean, it, it doesn't make sense to drop all this money into the boat without doing the same to the trailer. So that's where we're at with that. All right, guys, so I'm going to stop rambling, cut the video off right here. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. We are actually slowly, very slowly making that climb. We're, we're up to like 130 now which is you know phenomenal considering we we just broke 100 a couple of months ago so let's keep that climb going and until next time guys stay safe stay outdoors